And if you've watched my videos for a bit now, you definitely know the town I'm about to show you. But today I thought I'd give you an official tour of Neuchâtel. So this town in the Vosges has about 7,000 residents. We'll check out the main street and some of the views in the old town. We'll stop by a couple of well-known monuments the Saturday market and then stroll down by the river where there's a place that you can play bocce ball in the summer and then maybe even check out a cafe and some other stuff. We'll see what we get into. Alright, let's go. So we are on Rue de France which is like the main street of Neuchâtel. So the main street has a cafe, some banks, a flower shop, a bakery, two pizza places, a fantastic new wine bar, two kebab places, a tattoo shop, some stores, and some other shops. and cute and it did have a tea shop I really liked but it closed but there are some other shops still on the street and there's like a Chinese restaurant a couple bars and then like some like a hairdresser too and actually the only commerce on this street that hasn't changed is the Café de Paris and to locals it's known as Le Pépé actually hosts the market on Saturdays as well as Rue de Kennedy, what we're currently on. over to the town square. So we are at Gachon d'Arc and it's recently been renovated and it really is beautiful. The only downside is there's not really like any shops or cafes so you can't really like sit down and enjoy it fully. But at the tourism office which is behind us you can get like an ice cream or like a lemonade or something and enjoy the patio in the summer months. Pretty much, we have no chateau. And this is one of my favorites. These are always so cute and they do like different scenes for like Christmas. It's really cute. This is 
This is definitely a very good crepery. So there is an old Italian theater called the Scheda and it's open to the public in the summer but only with like a guided tour and it actually used to be the movie theater, the cinema of the town up until 2018 once they got a new like modern cinema. So there is a cinema and also like a performing arts center that hosts like different plays and comedians that pass through town. really calm and like picturesque spot. Um, you can kind of stroll by the river or have a little picnic and then in the summer months over there you can play bocce ball. <laughs> like all the stores, with there, all the supermarkets, and then if you keep going, you can go to Nolce. There's also a train in the chateau, so you could access this. <laughs>
up is this very calm little neighborhood of the Chateau called Russe. And it has no shops, but it has this cute little like stroll by the river. It's very calm and peaceful. And it almost reminds me of like a little village. You can hear just how quiet and calm it is. There are no like stores or shops or anything. There's only a butcher shop that's pretty well known. There's always a long line. It's called Le Mer. view of Rusa. You can see the church, all these cute little gardens. City. There's also some like bigger supermarkets like Le Fleur, Intermarché, Lidl, and then there's a loop that has like uh, Jiffy, Action. So they're similar to like big lots in the US. And then there's like a garden center and just like some miscellaneous little stores as well. to the end i hope you enjoyed our little tour of le chateau i think it is a cute small town and it's really exciting to see like new places pop up like that wine bar i also love the charm of the old town and it's super walkable and there's lots of nature however i think it does lack a little bit in cuisine variety of cuisine and in cafes there's also not many places to like sit outside in the sun but they're in construction for a new park, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more variety and things to do, but overall it is a very cute town. Let me know your thoughts below, and as always, thanks so much for watching. Cold news and excited, and I appreciate it.